former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton uh, got enthusiastic uh, applause uh, last night, kind of greeted as a, as, as a hero by many delegates in, in that room. Yeah, Scripps News correspondent Julie Martin is live in the Atlanta newsroom with more on the former First Lady speech. Hey, Julie, good morning to you. Hey, Alex and Rob. Hillary Clinton addressed the proverbial glass ceiling that she herself failed to fully shatter. It was eight years ago when Clinton was atop the Democratic ticket at the DNC, but last night, a different agenda. She was met with cheers and applause that lasted for more than 90 seconds. Some in the crowd even cried. Clinton urged women everywhere that this is our time. We're opening the promise of America wide enough for everyone. Together, we put a lot of cracks in the highest, hardest glass ceiling. And Clinton noted that her mother, Dorothy Rodham, was born before women had the right to vote. As she closed her speech, she warned voters not to be content with the polls and claimed that we can't give up now. Kept our eyes on the future. Well, my friends, the future is here. I wish my mother mother could see us, they would say, keep going. Shirley and Jerry would say, keep going. Clinton, they're referring to Shirley Chisholm, the first woman ever elected to the U.S. Congress, and Geraldine Ferraro, the first woman nominated for vice president in 1984. Interestingly enough, Kamala Harris has not made gender the central focus of her campaign, as noted by Politico, but she is letting that fact speak for itself, and it is certainly present there at the convention, as you well know, Robin Alex.